What's going on, church family? I hope you are having an awesome Christmas day and time spent with friends and family and have had an awesome time uh, this week. Hopefully got a couple days off of work and, and are getting to focus on family and enjoy some good food and things like that. I just want to spend a little time with you, uh, just a few minutes tonight, because uh, I know everybody's got a lot going on, but I, I want us to think about uh, just a couple thoughts as we end the year um, and as we go into 2020 and, and prepare for a new year. If you have your Bibles, which I hope you will, uh, I'd ask you to turn over to the Old Testament book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 11 in particular. You know, this time of year we start to, especially today, we start thinking about um, giving gifts and, and we give gifts to friends and family and and, and things like this. And I want us to consider um, w what it means in terms of giving as a Christian. If we look in Proverbs chapter 23, we see this idea of giving. And, and in fact, it kind of tells us exactly God's feelings about giving and, and how we're kind of supposed to think about it. So if you would follow along with me in Proverbs uh, chapter 11, starting in verse 23, it says, The desire of the righteous ends only in good, the expectation of the wicked in wrath. One gives freely, yet grows all the richer. Another withholds what he should give, what he should give, and only suffers want. Whoever brings blessings will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. You know, we think about gift giving in this time of year in particular, but I want us to to challenge ourselves going into next year and think about the, the generosity that, that God calls us to have. Um, that it's not just one day a year or one time a year, but that we're called to give all times of the year. Um, you know, the writer here in Proverbs uses the, the, the idea of being watered. Whoever brings blessings will be enriched, and the one who waters will himself be watered in return. Um, that's the challenge I want to give you. I hope you're having an awesome time with friends and family today. And as we go through the rest of this week and into the new year, consider this idea of who are we watering on a daily basis? Um, you know, you and I have an opportunity to interact with folks on a daily basis in, with our families, with our jobs, and our neighborhoods. We have an opportunity to be generous, not just around Christmas time, but, our, you know, all times of the year. Um, you know, in the New Testament, we read about that as Christians, you know, we are called to, to live a life that is um, an example to set to others. You know, that people look to us and, and see Christ, see God through us. And in particular, one of those ways is through our giving and through our generosity. Um, if you follow along with us, if you're a member at Central, then next year in 2020, our theme is called All In. And we're going to talk about be all in generosity, all in giving. Um, and, and that goes so much further than just, you know, once a week at church. You know, that, that, is, a, that is a way of life as a Christian. Here, the Proverbs writer says, the one who gives freely will grow all the richer. Um, and I want you to think about that far beyond money. You know, generosity in terms of a Christian goes far beyond wealth. Uh, it goes into, are we being generous with our time? Are we being generous with our um, connection to others? Are we being generous, generous with, with our love and our gratitude, kindness? All of these, um, you know, you look in the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians. Every one of those has a generosity factor to it. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. These are all things that we can be generous with, especially, you know, we think about it in the new year. How can we be more generous with these things? Guys, I hope you're having an awesome time. I miss being with you. Kyla and I, of course, are in Kentucky visiting family and are loving that time, but, but we miss seeing you guys, especially in these midweek Bible studies. I hope this is just giving you something to think about and pray about. And as we wrap up here tonight, I want to offer a prayer for us. Um, entering into the new year. Um, if you haven't heard, next week, of course, is New Year's Day. It just worked out that way this year that Christmas Day and New Year's Day are both on a Wednesday. So we are going to not have evening worship Wednesday night next week either, and I will be back here doing another uh, short devotional for us as we enter into the new year. But if you would, bow your heads with me. We'll offer a prayer, and, and then we will conclude tonight. Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we are so thankful to be here to, tonight to, you know, even in a digital way, to get to come together and just uh, to, to meditate and reflect on a small portion of your word, in particular, thinking about the way that you give to us. You gave us your son and you gave us the opportunity to connect with you through, through your son and, and through salvation that we can obtain through him. God, we are so thankful for the generosity that you have to us, and we just ask that you would enrich and put into us 
the, the desire to be that generous to others. You know, not just one day a year or one month out of the year, but as the writer there in Proverbs talks about, that, that we will be generous all throughout the year. And when we do that, we know that, that you will be even more generous with us. God, we just pray for opportunities to do that with others, that we will think about generosity far bigger than just money or possessions, but we will think about being generous with, with our priority and with our time and with all the things that you list throughout Scripture, that we will love more generously, that we will give more generously, that we will uh, embody this as we enter into a new year in 2020. God, I'm thankful for every family, everybody that is listening tonight, um, whether they listen live or catch this later. I'm thankful that we have the opportunity and the technology to make this happen. God, I pray that we have so many that are traveling right now, and I pray for their safety as they travel back home, wherever that might be. God, I ask that you forgive us where we fail you. Give us the strength to stand back up and try again. We ask all these things in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Guys, I hope you had a great uh, Christmas day, t t uh, time spent with friends and family, and I look forward to seeing you um, next Wednesday night. This Sunday, the 29th, Kyle and I will still be gone, but we have an awesome guest speaker coming in to talk to you about some mission work going on in, in Tanzania and Africa. The Gaines family will be coming in and talking to you about that. Make sure and be at Central on the 29th, and I will see you here digitally next week uh, on the 1st, starting a new year. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later.